Hi guys, welcome to a new series, another one of my retro PS2 series. Uh, this one is one that I am really looking forward to. A lot of them are classic games that I've really enjoyed, that I've played. This is Okami. I haven't played it, I've wanted to play it for years. Let's fire it up, let's give it a go and we'll talk about it as we play. New game. Okami indeed, my friend. Loading! What? Hey! Stop it! Don't kick out of my ass. Right, that'll do for the Japanese impression. Magic brush! Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honoured as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood red eyes alone were said to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi travelled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. She got a tail. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood be tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Arachi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shanaru Shiranui, the wolf, that dwelled outside the village. 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 Bearing its fearsome claws, Shanaru Sharanui leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, threshing in the darkness. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying. Mysterious and terrifying, 
The spectacle continued. Shirenui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Arachi's flames. As Arachi closed in on Shiranui, a sharpened and claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Arachi. This is an epic. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow, but Shiranui refused to give in. With his last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proudly to face his adversary. Channeling all his strength into his scared and scarred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously towards Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Noise they make. Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the village the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kimiki. When they reached the village, Shanui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shanui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, Woof. then closed his eyes and drifted off as in into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamiki village. In honor of Shanui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened, oh come on please, Tsukiyomi and placed inside the moon cave. Moon cave. The villagers all took, looked forward to an age of endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. There is more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years have passed since Nagi and Shirinui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Sword. Is this the legendary sword? Is this the Tsukiyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Arachi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. Ching! I don't think I wanted to do that, my friend. Whoever the hell you are. Take the sword with you. Oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words. I wish darkness unto the world. Out of that prayer unto me and unleash my power. Uh, don't do that.
네. 네. He didn't say the words. So does he not have power? This is quite a long intro, I do apologise. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kamiki village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such a calamity? I must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world, so I will keep talking. Amaterasu. Now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. I don't really know what that is. Magic Frisbee. Okami Amaratsu. Amaterats. Am Amaterasu. Ah, such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amarasu Amaterasu. How delightful to see the saviour whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demons so many years ago has not changed one bit. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. Um, yeah, you were in a rush, remember? Not much time. Amaterasu. Gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon, but never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm. Okay, what is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Boop shake. Phew, what on earth? Hey, you again. Oh, boy. Ow, 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 ow. Are you nuts? Ah, but for another thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, Bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isan. Wandering artist Isan. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Muffism. <coughs> well, focus on the knockers there, I think, mate. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? Eh? 
What's with you, Furball? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it! You look just like that statue of Shiranui. Did you go Shiranui? Then who is Am Am Amaterasu? I'm confused. Whoa, what do you think you're doing? Are you crazy? A handsome guy like me should never be covered in the wolf slobber. You regret messing with the greatest son? Don't make me use my prized sword. Denkumaru against you. Okay, things are happening. Strange things afoot at Circle K. Whoa, what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamiki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Hmm. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakuya girl who sure said some weird stuff. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit that girl said that's. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. It's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're going to reach it. This darkness is really getting me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Okay! Well, we've got no camera control, but we do have... What in the world? There's something blocking the road in back to the village. Am I still dreaming? Ouch. So we'll have something. Okay, so we've got a force field there. We've got jump buttons. Whee! Oh, God. What's that? I think we can, we can dig up. Dirt, for no apparent reason. Jump. Attack. Double jump. Oh, hello. Examine. Uh, the fruit sure is growing in a high place. The only way we're going to reach that is some kind of special power. Which presumably we don't have. Okay. And that's that. Let's go through here, I guess. Presumably to get a special power, I don't know. Where are we? Got awfully quiet all of a sudden. I don't remember a place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right analog stick to look around. The one button changed the point of view. Boy, you are really look so helpless. You should be okay. Alright. Okay, camera. Big up plants. I think it just glowed there. Was it just a random glow or was it? Maybe it was. Hold on! That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity! To put it shortly, you can save your progress here, but make sure you have what you need to save your progress. I'm talking about a memory card for PlayStation 2. I don't know how to break the. Break the magic. And let me give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you can always go back and get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. Uh, save. Okay, River of the Heavens. Jars. Look at those pots, just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Press the square button to bust them with your head. 
What else would I use? Way to go, my fairy friend! Anytime you see something, you can break. Okay, it's not particularly the best. Uh, well, well, hold on there, Fibble. Get out of that. Just looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Get another that high. Oh, it'll be a piece of cake. Press X button to jump. Then press X button again to do a wall jump. Make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Okay, so a little bum, big one. Sweet. So good luck is found in high places, so keep your eyes peeled. I've got treasure. Okay, so basic tutorial levels anyway. Yeah, let's say they're here. Uh, pots. It looks like I think we break those. We obtained Holy Bone S. And that's his favourite snack, which was three units of solar energy. Yeah, I think we pick those up automatically. Looks like the bridge is out. Big jumps. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, um, Amaterasu, or what was it? That's kind of long. May I call you Amy? Yeah, please. Listen, Amy. Ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has its own soul. Unless that's what they say. Just watch. They take all day to explain. Picture's worth a thousand words, right? That's a good story device. Don't explain, just do. Nice, huh? Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13. Each is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within the objects all around us. But, god or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? Okay. What's this? River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River. But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? What was that? Oop, wrong button. Examine. Heavens. Oh, okay, same thing. Yeah, whatever. Let's have a quick look up here. So we're obviously supposed to be in the other direction. Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey, look. Are those stars forming a pattern, or is it just me? Hmm, there's one missing. Let's just have to draw the missing star. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Press the R1 button to hold the brush, then the square button to draw. Holy crap. Just been a heck of a long time for practicing that. Oh, I'm going brush. Well, it's no use just sitting here and thinking about it. And the greatest thing's going to put everything here, isn't it? How the hell am I supposed to do that, for Christ's sake? Yeah. How oh, the brush? Ow! Get off! No, I didn't press anything. Oh, brush. And oh, come 
Oh, that was great. Hold the brush and. Down. Up. Down. Up. And across. That's beautiful. I don't know what you want. Don't know what you want. Can we skip out of it? Press the other button to draw. You don't tell me what to draw. That's how I. We drop to make it start. Oh, I'm sure it's going You just want a dot? Interesting. Do I have to? Okay, maybe I'm just being stupid. What's up there? Maybe I have to do all of them. Do I have to all of them? Oh, I must have... So black on black is not very easy to see. I don't understand. It's so easy Hold it and tap the square button. Okay, that's better. Now you're saying Psst. What the fuck, man. Pretty sure I did that. Telling me where to do it was helpful. Yumigami, ah! Why if it isn't Mother Amaterasu? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, Yumigami, a god of restoration, I have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. Yeah, it was a statue, that's pretty fair. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, been scattered across this land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. The time has come for you to seek and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yummy Gummy, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you are as good with a brush as yours truly. Ah, could be true. Who else could master this incredible god technique? Well, maybe. Oops. Oh, I like this far out view, man. More pots. Okay, I'll go next round there. River of the heavens. Wonder if drawing some stardust would get the river flowing in. Ah, it's one thing to fix a bridge, but fixing a starry river? There's no way you can pull off a stunt like that. Well, I think there might be a way. Ah! So what the hell am I supposed to do here?
Wow. A river started. So this really must be the river of heavens. But what I really want to know is who the heck drew that down thing? Are you not paying attention? Some more in. Right, fill that bit. Oh, a bit more. I'll do. You obtained astral pouch. Look what you found, Furball. This astral pouch here is amazing. You can swap lots of stuff. Uh, it's full. You can revive some of She dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Okay. Let's find some jars. You can see the apple! I need to fill the sound apple fills astral pouch a little bit. I was going to say, where is the food? Because we're just getting in. We consumed orange. Orange with sharp citrus taste fills apple pouch a little bit. Okay, so how do we know when astral pouch is full? It's giving us a number, not a gauge. Alright! That. Oh, look, more. Are these respawning? Just the ones around here. Interesting. Interesting. Right. Well, there we go. I think we've learned some basics. Um, how the brush works eventually, after a bit of time. Uh, we've got our attacks. But our food, uh, as I say, this is certainly listed in most top 10 best PlayStation 2 games of all time. And uh, it's one that I've not played. Uh, I've seen it a lot of times and I've always thought oh, I should get that and play that and never actually did. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, I hope you guys will enjoy too. So I think we'll end it here. It's been quite a long one with the whole introduction and stuff and I'm sorry about that I mean, we, I mean, we do need to pick those up interesting interesting they're quite a long reach on the on the magnet power but even so okay yes and uh, yes I hope you will come back next episode and we'll watch whatever it is that's through this portal I'll see you there <laughs>